Ladies and gentlemen and apple sheep everywhere. I have got some exciting news for you. Apple played a huge wild card. They did something no one expected. They released a product red version of the iPhone 10 folio case. $99. They're still just hoping if they make more colors of that, someone will start buying it. Someone will start thinking that an awkward phone wallet case that's 99 bucks is worth it. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys weren't too interested in the subject because I'm not getting one. Thanks you guys for watching and I hope you have an excellent day. Take care. <sighs> Who else thought air power was gonna come out? So obviously that's not the only thing. Also an iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are coming in product red. And the big surprise everyone's very grateful for is Apple is actually going forward with black bezels on the product red iPhone 8, which of course most people are very, very happy about, except for this one guy who's like, I like the white bezels. Great, you know, find it used iPhone 7 product red. But basically no one agrees with you. It's actually kind of nice to see Apple officially act on a request. Everyone just kind of said the same thing about last year's 7 plus so they actually changed it this time and i think the reason that we've seen an iphone color just for the iphone 8 and we haven't seen any new colors for the 10 is 8's probably the hardest one to sell you know just 24 hours ago i bet iphone 8 plus sales were pretty low given most people interested in buying a new iphone or buying the iphone 10 it's been seven months now since september which means that the next generation of iphones for 2018 are now getting pretty close so who really was interested in the iphone 8 right what was the point if if you wanted a new iPhone, you got an iPhone 10, and now we even had people who are questioning, well, isn't it kind of late to buy the iPhone 10? It's amazing how colors will change people's mind. Now suddenly Apple releases the iPhone 8 Plus and 8 in product red. Now I bet a lot of people are actually gonna buy it. Similar to when they released the product red version for the iPhone 7 Plus, it's clearly a mid-run way of boosting sales. It's like, we could have released this at the beginning, but we kind of want to take a pin in our sales chart and lift up that bar a little bit so that people get excited for iPhones again. And the stats say that it works, especially tech journalists are gonna all have to go out and buy it just so they can try it out for themselves and see what it looks like. But functionally, it changes nothing, of course. It is kind of nice though that this is officially the second iPhone 8 that actually has black bezels on the front. There's really not that many colors for the 8 either, just between blush gold and silver. Space Gray, of course, had the black bezels. Now this has it too. Thank you, Apple. Yeah, the one difference with this release opposed to last year's is for one, this one is an A we're getting a 24-hour heads up, Apple saying, hey, pre-orders start tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Pacific, which by the way, Apple, thank you for telling us that. Wish you could have told us that's when pre-orders begin for the HomePod, instead of making all of your customer support communities and customers guess it all day. We didn't know, thank you for being upfront about it though. Or see, I kind of liked what they did in 2017, when the new iPad came out and the red iPhone 7, there wasn't some bizarrely seductive made TV spot for the red iPhone 7, it was just like, eh. You know what? We made one. Here you go. Alongside it came out that new iPad. Instead, now we get a sort of keynote, but it's not really live streamed, so we just have to hear about it through CNET. We get this semi-new iPad that's like, ooh, new Apple Pencil support, okay. And now a couple weeks later, Apple releases just a new product, red iPhone 8, which makes everyone go, oh, there's even more changes coming. But if the Apple Store app is changing at 5.30 in the morning, once again, I'm gonna hold out and hope, hope, not expect, that alongside Excited will actually get the unveiling of Air Power, maybe, or the new AirPods. But again, I seriously doubt that, especially given the primary reason Air Power is not out yet is because it's not been approved by the FCC. And every time there's a new website refresh, especially like with one with the product red iPhone, I love to go down to the fine print on the Air Power section of the website just to make sure nothing's changed. And I did today as well. It still says Air Power may not be sold until it is approved by the FCC, which really bums me out. It makes me wonder if Air Power was really meant to be some kind of futuristic concept, but because the FCC looks at it and says, this isn't safe for selling yet, or we're not sure if you can sell this yet, it's really not gonna happen anytime soon. But regardless, I'm still very curious about that iPhone 8 as well. I'm surprised they went with the full dark red glass on the back. I'm sure that's going to be very saturated. I kind of thought that if they were gonna do glass on the back, they would do it more as an accent, kind of like they did with blush gold and silver. Not very saturated colors, just kind of light mid-tones. And then 
then maybe Apple would make a really accented product red bumper around with the aluminum, maybe a product red Apple logo, and that would be the red eight. But no, they dove in head first and made the exact same color combination as the back of this one with a silver Apple logo and solid red back. And I'm guessing that's gonna look really, really cool. For those people who may be asking me, am I going to switch to it? Heck no, mostly because Touch ID doesn't work on my fingers. And I love my iPhone 10 so much. I'm so used to not having a home button now. Gesture controls are way better. And while this does look very cool, no, I'm not gonna be moving backwards. That's not to say I won't unbox it. I'm already in talks with a couple fans who are interested in getting one themselves and said they might let me unbox it first and then send it to them. Similar to what we did on this channel with the Galaxy S9. Something like that may happen again. So it sounds like I may be getting my hands on one and being able to unbox it and film it and give you guys my impressions, but probably not a whole review, just an unboxing so we can get the idea of what it looks like. And primarily, I just want the box for the collection. So if anyone out there is planning on getting the iPhone 8 Plus in product red, then please feel free to send your packaging once you get your phone to me if you want it to be included in the Talos of Tech backgrounds of every video. I would gladly add it to the collection and then you could know the box to your iPhone 8 is forever immortalized in the background of Talos of Tech. So yeah, I tried to make a whole video out of that. Most people didn't have as much to say as I did, I bet, huh? But regardless, we'll get back into our regularly scheduled programming very soon. Anyway, this is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.